1967 that Frisbee would be mandatory beach and park gear 30 years later. To investigate this thoroughly American phenomenon, we've gone to great lengths. Whew. Well, it was quite a climb, but it was worth it. On top of this mountain, above Santa Barbara, lives a real-life guru. The guru of Frisbee. John Kirkland got into Frisbees at the beginning. 30 years ago, not only has he been a Frisbee world record holder, he's collected more than 15,000 of the things. But he's not alone in his love of round flying discs. It's the biggest sport in the world. More people throw Frisbees than run and kick soccer balls than do anything. Now the humble Frisbees even got its own video, just released to coincide with its 30th birthday. The Frisbees co-stars are these guys, the world championship Bud Light team led by Frisbee evangelist Crazy John Brooks. He could do anything with a Frisbee. Crazy, what other body orifices might you use to make this Frisbee move? Uh, Bob? Well, yeah, that, but you know, what other ones? Check it out. Okay. We dropped in on an average Saturday in the park with Craze and the guys. The Bud Light team also had the good fortune of picking up some pointers from another Frisbee pro. It's just that simple. It's pretty good. Well, <laughs> finally, something Bob can do well. <laughs> kidding, <laughs> kidding. Along with its popularity, the Frisbee price has grown as well. Has it really? Now, you could buy a, a Frisbee, an average Frisbee, for 89 cents 30 years ago. Really? You know how much they cost now? Oh, I wouldn't have, not a clue. For your standard generic Frisbee? 50, 60 dollars? Five bucks. Really? Mm. That's pretty good. All right, when we come back, we're going to hear a song that we'll <laughs> all have very definite feelings about. 